the next subtopic we will continue with empirical and molecular formula and these are the learning objective that you should be able to determine the empirical formula and molecular formula of a compound based on its percent composition and also you have to know how to calculate the empirical and molecular from the combustion analysis data so as a revisit the percentage by mass of an element is given by this formula given us the step to how to determine the empirical formula we assume 100 gram sample which is the individual percentage become actual masses step 2 we will divide the mass of each element by its molar mass to obtain the number of mole next we will divide all numbers in the ratio by the smallest number of moles and given the smallest whole number ratio of each element and the last step if the result is within 0.1 of whole number round to whole number this is when we are going to uh, round off the value okay there is a um, reference that we have to follow okay if the ratio is 0.5 you have to multiply by 2 it means that you cannot simplify if you get the value 2.5 you cannot simply round off to 3 this is wrong okay you have to times with 2 if the value is 0.33 or 0.67 okay for example it's 1.33 okay you cannot simply round off to 1 but you have to multiply with 3 okay and you will get 3.99 then only you will round off to four okay so this is not the um, direct round off that you ha you can apply but this is the correct one if the ratio is 0 0.25 or 0 0.75 you have to multiply by four in this example it's given the carbon hydrogen and oxygen with the mass percent you have to calculate the empirical formula for this aspirin Okay, so you are um, you can choose a table when you're going to solve your empirical formula. Okay, so this is basically how the tables looks like. Okay, so first you can start with the element. We have carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and then we write the percent composition given from the questions. So we assume the percentage is equivalent to the mass. 60 gram 4.48 gram and 35.53 grams okay so the next step we have to get the number of mole so to get the number of mole we have to divide with the molar mass so this is the molar mass for carbon hydrogen and oxygen next we will get the number of mole for each okay and then you have to multiply with the smallest number of mole from the previous calculations Okay, since the smallest is 2.22, you have to divide all this element with 2.22. So you got 2.25, 2.02, and 1. Okay, so when we look at all of this value, you cannot simply round off 2.25 into 2, for example. Okay, because normally if, if you got 2.2 value, we can uh, always round off to 2. Okay, but this is not applicable for this empirical okay so if the value is n with 0.25 you have to multiply with 4 so once you multiply this value with 4 another will follow okay so this one you times with 4 2.02 times 4 and 1 times 4 and you will get this is the simplest ratio for this aspirin which is carbon is 9 hydrogen is 8 and oxygen is okay we move to another example but in this example you have to also identify the molecular formula okay basically the same concept we apply to calculate the empirical formula which is from this table okay we got uh, until this is uh, this is the ratio one one and one okay so the empirical formula is C1, H1, O1. Okay, but since the question also required the molecular formula, so what you have to do? In order to get 
the molecular formula you have to find the n okay well, n is the ratio that will lead you to the between empirical and molecular formula and how you calculate the n n is the molar mass of compound divided with the molar mass of empirical formula that you just calculated just now okay so 5.8 gram divided with 0 0.05 gram this value come from the questions okay we got 1.116 gram per mole and the molar mass for the from the empirical formula is 29 when we divide these two value cancel off the unit we got 4 d4 the molecular formula is given by c4 h4 o4 okay next the second objective uh, learning objective you have to calculate the empirical from a combustion data okay so a common technique for analyzing compound is to burn a known mass of compound and weight the amount of product made by knowing the mass of the product and composition of constituent elements of the product the original amount of constituent element can be determined once the masses of all the constituent elements in the original compound have been determined the empirical formula can be found so basically this is an idea how we can calculate the empirical and molecular from the combustion data Okay, so we move to the example. Maybe you uh, you might have an idea after we discuss this example. So it gives a combustion of 0 0.8233 gram sample of a compound containing only carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, produce 2.445 gram CO2 and 0 0.6003 gram H2O. Determine the empirical formula of the compound. Okay, so when uh, any compound undergo combustion it will produce carbon dioxide and water so we will use this product from the combustion to calculate the empirical formula okay so basically here are the step how you can calculate from the information given to get the empirical and molecular formula okay so let the empirical formula be c x h y o z okay and we have carbon we have hydrogen we have oxygen okay all the original carbon come from co2 the original hydrogen come from h2o Okay, because this is only the product contain hydrogen and this is the only product that contain carbon but for oxygen it might come from co2 and or h2o okay that's why if we have a combustion product normally we are not calculate the mass or the value for the oxygen first okay because oxygen can come uh, from the product of CO2 and H2O, we will choose to calculate the carbon or hydrogen first because it's only the carbon only contains in CO2 and hydrogen only contains in H2O. Okay, so let's start with uh, first from the CO2, we want to extract the value of carbon. The first step the mole of CO2. We got 0 0.0557. Okay. And if you look at this compound of CO2, one mole carbon in one mole CO2. Okay. So we have CO2. This is one molecule. And in one molecule of CO2, it contains one mole carbon. Since the ratio are similar so we can assume the mass uh, the, sorry we can assume the mole of carbon also 0 0.05557 which is similar okay so after we get the mole of carbon then we can get the mass of carbon times with the molar mass so you will get the mass of carbon is this much okay basically the same concept we apply for determine 
mass of hydrogen hydrogen comes from the product of h2o mole of h2o we have to calculate first because we want to compare the ratio between hydrogen and h2o okay so this is the mole of h2o from the mass given divide with the molar mass of h2o we got 0 0.0335 mole h2o in one molecule of water h2o it contains how many mole of hydrogen two mole hydrogen therefore to get the mole of hydrogen we have to times the value of mole h2o with two so we got 0 0.0667 mole hydrogen to get the mass of hydrogen the molar mass of hydrogen is one gram per mole so next we have determined the mass of hydrogen okay so we go, we go back to the questions we have calculated the mass of carbon the mass of hydrogen and we only have to calculate the mass of oxygen so the easiest way to calculate the mass of oxygen we just uh, we just um, take the total mass from the questions given 0.8233 gram minus with the total mass of carbon and hydrogen so we get 0 0.08976 gram oxygen okay after we got the mass we can calculate the mole of oxygen then we can apply in this table okay now we have the mole of carbon hydrogen and oxygen okay and the next step we have to multiply with the smallest number of mole so when we compare all these three the lowest number of moles given by oxygen so we divide so this is what we will get 9.9 11.9 and 1 okay so this is 9.9 if the value is between 0.1 okay we can round off the value so 9.9 .9 become 10 11.9 .9 become 12 at the end we got the empirical formula is C10H12O.